Hi, Yael. <laughs> Welcome. Hi. So this Hi. is, yeah. This is an interview as part of our Who Are We as Arts Therapists in South Africa project. And we are very happy to have you on it. Thank you for being willing to make some time. So, yeah, pleasure. So let's uh, find out a bit about you. First of all, what is your profession in the arts therapies? And perhaps where are you based? Sure. So I'm working as a music therapist mm -hmm. and I work in um, the Glen Hazel, um, Silvermont area, close to Norwood, mm. close to Edenvale, that side of town. Okay. And tell us about um, where you studied. Let's start over there. What is your background that's led you into music therapy? Sure. So I actually, I was born in South Africa. Mm. And I grew up here until I was about 10 years old. Mm -hmm. And my family immigrated to New York, to the mm. United States. So I went to most of my formal schooling in the United States. Um, I went to university at Albany. Mm -hmm. And I did my psychology um, honors in, in New York, mm -hmm. uh, upstate New York, capital of New York. And I also did um, a minor in music. Mm. And throughout my life, I've always played guitar and loved singing and loved being involved in music. So it seemed like a natural um, fit to do music therapy. Mm. And um, I did my master's at the University of Pretoria mm. at Tux, and now I'm working in South Africa. Okay. Well, that's a, an international uh, upbringing. And yes, I can hear from your American accent that uh, you definitely had experience there and so you had your music background I'm just curious if there's anything you'd like to add about your inspirations that led you to music therapy and perhaps to the way that you work like uh, people teachers approaches anything you want to mention sure so I worked in when I, while I was after I graduated from the University of Albany I worked in New York City mm -hmm. um, in Manhattan at a community center mm. in um, New York City and I was the director of teen programming so mm. I ran a lot of programming for teenagers through the ages of 10 through 18 mm -hmm. and um, I loved working with them and giving them opportunities to connect with themselves mm. and empowering them to impact on their community so we did a lot of community service work mm -hmm. um, working with non other nonprofits homeless shelters Mm. Um, we used to do programs where we would um, cook food and meals and prepare them for homeless shelters and we did trips abroad, all sorts of different programming. So I really enjoyed working with that age group mm -hmm. and I encountered a lot of children in our groups with special needs mm -hmm. and um, often we would try to be inclusive and, and have all the children work together and it was very important to have those skills and how to work with different client groups and being able to bring everyone together and acknowledge that we all have differences and that, that that's an, a great thing. Mm -hmm. So that's something I really love doing in New York. And it also inspired me to want to work and gain more skills to be able to work with that client group. Okay. And do you have a particular approach within music therapy or any um, of your gurus, I guess you could call them that you really love the way that they work and bring that into your work? Sure. So I love the humanistic approach, really working with people one-on-one. -on -one. Everybody's an individual. Mm -hmm. um, there's a type of music therapy called creative music therapy, mm -hmm. where it really relies on the person and what they bring. Mm -hmm. So whatever a person's able to do, no matter if they're a client with autism mm -hmm. or a client with um, diagnosed with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder mm -hmm. or a person with um, suffering from mental illness, it's all about whatever that person is able to bring at that time. And we work with what that person can do. So it's um, very much for, focused on the individual. Every person's different. Mm -hmm. Every, so you can't say one child diagnosed with ADHD is the same as the next child. Every single person is different. Mm -hmm. So try to acknowledge the individual. Wonderful. And how do you work at the moment? Do you use multiple instruments? Do you bring in different um, particular approaches for particular kinds of conditions or people? So for, it depends on the, um, on the client group that I'm working with. If I'm working with a teenager, 
Mm -hmm. um, I may work with songwriting mm -hmm. and a lot of reflective techniques, music listening and those types mm -hmm. of things. If I'm working with a child with autism, it may be a lot about drumming and playing mm -hmm. um, different instruments and really getting to meet them where they are. So mm -hmm. if they are, if a person, um, a stroke victim is only able to do tap lightly on the drum, mm -hmm. I would work with whatever that they could do and acknowledge that. Mm -hmm. um, so in, in music therapy, we use a variety of techniques mm -hmm. and depends on which client group you're working with. Okay, excellent. Can you tell us about your clients? Who are you working with? Sure. So right now I'm working with a lot of children um, with special needs in different areas. So um, I have a couple clients with Down syndrome um, on the autism spectrum as well. I work with quite a few children with ADHD and I see a lot of benefits with music therapy with all these groups. And I also see quite a lot of um, clients with Alzheimer's and dementia as well. Mm, okay, so both ends, the young and the more mature. Mm. And do you work in a private practice or do you go out to the communities or schools? So I do have my own private practice um, in the Glen Hazel Silvermont area. Mm -hmm. Okay. And working with individuals or with groups as well? Um, at the moment, I'm working with mostly individuals, but I do also work with groups. I go to centers and I do do... Um, groups with elderly and at schools as well. Okay. I'm going to ask you at the end how anyone interested might be able to get hold of you. But before I go there, I'm just curious if there's anything that you'd like to bring in to before we complete our interview. Sure. I think um, the arts therapies is a very um, special and important type of therapy in South Africa. I think especially in this country, it is so important um, to be able to reach people in a way that can, can really get to them and help them. And I think being able to, to communicate with people who especially can't just use words, to be able to reach people in a nonverbal way is so important. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm also currently working on a project called Creative Gatherings, mm -hmm. which I've partnered with a number um, of another drama teacher and some other professionals in the community and mm -hmm. professional musicians mm -hmm. where we bring together different musicians, street musicians, amateur musicians and professional musicians mm -hmm. and try to really um, bridge boundaries in the communities and bring people together. And it's kind of an Ubuntu mission in a way to really have an opportunity and we're going to be showcasing our work at the world congress of music therapy in 2020 mm -hmm. and um it's a very unique project Sounds so really inspiring so how can people get hold of you if they want to contact you find out more work with you book a session sure so i do have a website my website is yael y-a-e-l musictherapy.com mm -hmm. and they can contact me through my website or my email address is on the website mm -hmm. and um i'd be happy to speak All and right. see if the music could be for them great well it's been really interesting one thing that i'm finding interviewing more arts therapists is just the beauty and the sense of community and the sense of upliftment that everyone seems to bring. It's like the creative touch that expresses through music or dance or art or drama. It, it seems to come from a, a similar place and I'm lo loving really feeling into some of those connections. So thank you for the beautiful work that, that you do and for coming on and being willing to uh, be part, be seen as part of our therapy community and to share. Thank you so much for, for having me. Absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Bye.